Yesterday when we left the furniture guys, they were about to put the finishing touches on their newly restored shabby chic bookcase. Let's take a look. Hey, we're back, the furniture guys, Joe and Ed. Look, the bookcase, it's very light. Hey, remember the last time we showed you how to break through into an undercoat to make it look, well... And you could see that. Exotic. It's a, just a different kind of artistic finish mm -hmm. that I like to do because it is a piece of junk, but I figure I could do it like a painting, you know, make something artistic out of it. And we've well, already... What are you going to do with the top? The top specifically, I didn't want to do anything with it, I, but we did a sample before of showing how we sanded it, wire brushed it, and put some paint on it, kind of like, instead of a white pickled finish, it's black. You can see beautiful, uh, you can see the grain in that now. But the edge, I want to do another treatment with the edge. I want to make that black too. So uh, devise the system. You get that piece of plywood there. Yeah. Lay that down. Mm hmm And then we put this face down because I am going, now it's perfectly flat, and I'm going to use an ebony black toner spray. And I'm going to spray this. See, by spraying it with a flat surface here, it's surface to surface. It won't bleed underneath the surface and stain ah. this, you see? So I'm going to come around that way, and we'll show what this looks like. First, you shake it up. Safety corner, folks. This is lacquer paint. We're not wearing any masks so you can hear us. But if you use lacquer paint, do not use it in an enclosed space, or if you do, wear a respirator. Look at the grouse. <laughs> hey, we're back, and all our color is done. The beautiful poor field color on the top on the oak piece, and the black with the red undercoat on the carcass of the bookshelf. And now I'm going to use a poly. It's very good, very nice stuff. The and finish, the protective it's, coating. It's gloss. It's going to need two coats, but you'll see it when it's done. Here we go. I'm going to start with the top here. And you will see the shine revealed and the depth. Now, a lot of people say to me, I use poly and, and it's always got bubbles on it. Well, that's because... You're a stripper. Your name is Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. You're, you're, you're either brushing too fast. Look at I got a hair there. Look at that. See that? Look at that little hair on there. Maybe. That's off. Here we go. Watch out for falling hair. That's why I'm wearing the tan. <laughs> and that's why you sand things so smoothly, because the smoother you get something, the more gloss, the more reflective quality the piece of wood, or for that matter, any material has. You see what I'm doing, how I'm laying this on? It's not a, you're not brushing like you're brushing with paint like this. It's got to be a very slow process. Here we go with this. Now, are you going to put poly on that front that you painted as well? Yep. Going around there now. I want to He's going around there now. And this. And this. I'm going to go around there now. And now I'm going to come this way. It's like a ballot. Let's do this edge. Do the front. Everybody wants you to, wants to see now you do I'm the front. I'm going to come over here and do this and start. Are you going to poly the rest of the bookcase? Yeah, I'm doing it now. All right. You can see how so that color everything's going to get polyed and protected. What a climax! What a finish! Look at that red. What a denouement! I'm glad you could join us here today at Architectural Antiques in Philadelphia. Hey, and next time we'll be showing you more crazy stuff to do to make your old furniture look new or even older and nicer. Until then, I'm Joe Lorario. I'm Ed Feldman. As we always say, be nice to your Sorry. furniture. Ed and Joe, thank you so much. You can follow The Furniture Guys online at thefurnitureguys.tv. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this.